With the holiday season now over, a lot of people are walking away with the new Apple Watch, and some of you are wondering why your battery is draining so quickly and how you can get better battery life. First of all, since you just got your hands on your new Apple Watch and you're excited to use it and test out all the features, it's almost guaranteed that you're spending much more time on it than after you get used to it. For that reason alone, your battery is going to drain much quicker than usual. After personally spending three months with my Apple Watch Series 4, I now easily get two full days of battery life. Apart from that, let's talk about all the ways you can save battery life on your new Apple Watch. Out of everything that drains power on the watch, the display takes the cake, by far. So if you want to save battery life, you need to reduce how much power the display drains. One thing that many of you might not know is that the Apple Watch features an OLED display. I won't get into the details on this, but basically, the display pixels on your screen that display black are actually turned off completely, using no extra power. So if you want to increase battery life, don't use a full screen watch face like the photo face or full screen Nike Plus watch face, or even the white background version of the chronograph watch face. Use one with as much blank space as possible to save the most battery life. Another sure way to save battery life is to lower the brightness of the display. Tap the crown to see your apps, then tap settings and scroll down to brightness and text size, then simply reduce the brightness. You can also save battery life by adjusting the wake screen settings. Go to settings, general, and wake screen. There, you can disable wake screen on wrist rays and crown up if you'd like. You can then scroll down to the bottom of the page and make sure the display will wake for only 15 seconds instead of 70. Now, if you don't want to mess with those settings, you can simply use theater mode instead. From your watch face, swipe up from the bottom of the display to access your control center. Then scroll down and enable theater mode. This will basically turn on silent mode and keep the screen dark unless you tap the screen press the crown or press the side button. If you're actually in a theater, you can scroll up on the crown to slowly turn up the brightness of the display. Wherever you stop, your brightness will stay at that same level while using the watch. You can also save battery life by minimizing the number of notifications you get. There are two ways to disable notifications you don't need. When you get an unneeded notification, swipe left on it and tap on the menu icon then tap Turn Off on Apple Watch. Another way to do this is to go to the Watch app on your iPhone, then go to Notifications and scroll down to the Mirror iPhone Alert section. There you can disable app notifications you don't care to see on your Apple Watch. A lot of iPhone apps also offer a Watch app, which uses power on your Apple Watch to make sure data is synced between both apps. If there are any Apple Watch versions of apps you don't need, you can uninstall them by going to the Watch app on your iPhone, scrolling down to the Installed on Apple Watch section, tapping into an app and disabling it. Complications on your watch faces that constantly refresh to show up-to-date information use extra power, so ditching any unneeded auto-refresh complications can slightly improve battery life. Apple Watch includes the Hey Siri feature, which does use a little bit more power by constantly listening for that command, so if you don't use it, you can disable it by going to Settings, General, and Siri. With WatchOS 5, you can simply use Race to Speak instead. If you scroll down within Siri settings, you can also lower Siri's respond volume, further improving battery life. If you're one who doesn't care much for heart rate data while on walking or running workouts, you can turn on power saving mode by going to settings, general, and workout. Calculations for energy burn may be less accurate, but you'll be saving some battery life. Another sure way to save battery life is to lower the volume of alerts by going into the sound and haptic settings. You can even turn on silent mode if haptic feedback is enough for you. If you scroll down, you can also disable crown haptics. Finally, if you've tried all that and it's draining incredibly quickly for no good reason, there's a couple of things you can do. First of all, make sure you're updated to the latest software on both your iPhone and Apple Watch. To update software on your watch, go to the Watch app on your iPhone, then General, then Software Update. If that still doesn't work, reboot the Apple Watch by pressing and holding both the digital crown and side button at the same time until the Apple logo shows up. If this problem persists, you should unpair and repair your watch. Go to the Watch app on iPhone, then tap the Apple Watch at the top of the screen. Tap the eye icon next to your watch, tap Unpair and Confirm. Then pair your watch just as you did when you first got it. If you're still having issues, check for any suspicious apps that may be causing excessive battery usage and uninstall them. Also, make sure Bluetooth is always enabled on your iPhone, since having it disabled increases battery drain on your Apple Watch. And finally, there's Power Reserve Mode, which basically shuts everything off except for a clock, boosting your battery life significantly. To do this, bring up your control center, tap the battery percentage, and then drag the Power Reserve slider. To turn off Power Reserve, simply press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo and wait for the watch to restart. 
Well, there you have it. There are all the ways you can save battery life on your Apple Watch. If this video helped you out, make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos like this one. And if you're still having battery life issues, comment below and it will help you out. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.